smell that? Me neither. Doesn't smell like anybody's made a pot of coffee in this house today. So that's gonna be our lesson, how to make a pot of coffee. We're also gonna learn how to structure the activity so our learners can be as independent as possible in the kitchen. For our learners who are experienced in the kitchen and know where to access items, you can leave some of the items where they belong, like leave the spoons in the drawer and the milk in the fridge. For our learners who are new to the kitchen and are building their independence, we're gonna leave all the stuff out on the counter for them so that everything's ready to go. Here we have everything we're gonna to need to teach somebody how to make a pot of coffee. Let's take a closer look at our visual instructions. Our coffee maker is already plugged in and programmed, so the only thing our learner would need to do is push the on button. This coffee maker has a section to boil water and make tea, and I don't want that accidentally being used, so I've taped it closed. This shows where the filter and the four scoops of coffee are gonna go, and where the water is gonna be poured. A simple tape line on a pot shows our learner how high the water should be filled. You can either have it already full of water or have our learner fill it up with water. How many coffee filters am I going to need? One. How many scoops of coffee am I going to need? Four. Once the coffee is ready, I want to pour my own cup of coffee, but I don't want to fill it too high. So a clear tape line that you can see from the inside shows how high to fill the coffee cup. An easy line on our measuring cup shows how much milk is gonna go in the cup. You could either have it filled with milk already and wait, leave it in the fridge, or leave it on the counter. When I'm done, I'm gonna stir it and put the lid on. How do I know I'm done? Everything's been used and I'm at the end of the counter. It's time to make our pot of coffee. Let's pour our water into the water section. Then the pot is going to go under there. I'm going to need a coffee filter. It's going to go in here. I'm gonna need four scoops of coffee. Here's my scoop. Hmm, where do these scoops go? One, two, three, I'm going to close the lid and push the button and wait. All right, the coffee's made. If it's safe for your learner to pour their own cup, let's go. My trusty assistant's already filled the milk, so I know exactly how much more to put in my cup. All right, it's time to sit back and relax. Thanks for coming to my kitchen today and making me a good cup of coffee. See you soon.